Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm James, continuing on with my build series of the Aeromite RC plane. Now, as I like to mention in the introduction to each of the videos of this build series, this plane is not a boxed kit that you can go purchase. It, I'm building this off of a set of plans. And if you're interested in getting a set of plans and maybe you want to build this plane yourself, check out my introduction video to this build series. I mentioned a few different ways on how you can obtain a set of plans. In this video, I'm going to be mounting the OS Max 15LA glow engine just temporarily. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to cut out a lot of this wood that I placed and shaped in the last video. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, why did you spend all that time, you know, all that work to shape this front nose area here if you're going to cut a lot of it out? And the reason being is I like to kind of block everything off and then I can get my lines down, get everything sanded, get the shape the way I want it, and then come back and remove what I don't need. Now, the other way to do it would be, you know, you have a couple options. You don't even have to put this top piece on here if you don't want to. You can leave it completely open. And I think that's sort of the way it looks on the little article they, that they give you with this plan set. Or you can mount the engine and then just build up maybe some of the areas around it if you, if you like. So either way, it's up to you how you want to do it. I like doing it this way. So looking at this engine, and you know, it is a small engine, but compared to the engine compartment and this little cowl area here, you know, I think it's going to be a pretty tight fit. I don't have the muffler on here, but you know, that's going to be coming off the right hand side back here. So a lot of that's going to be gone over there on that side. And then I have to make room for the needle valve here, which is going to be like right, right in here. And then, you know, I have the control arm here on the, on the, on the carburetor. And I was looking at this earlier and I can tell that it's going to be pretty tight right up here in the front. I have these wedge pieces in here, these sort of triangular stock to help um, reinforce the front nose area here. So some of that's going to be kind of removed up here in the front. So we'll see how it goes. I think it's going to be fine, but it's going to be pretty tight to get it in there. Now what I'm going to do is once I get this opened up, I'm going to set the engine down in there and I'm going to drill the holes to mount it. I'll mount it temporarily. I'll line up where the hole needs to be in the firewall so that the um, control rod can come out and engage the lever here. And then, you know, I'm just going to take it back off and, you know, so I can continue on building the plane. And then I think I'm going to coat the inside of this probably with like a, an epoxy resin or something just to help pr protect it from the glow fuel. Now, if you haven't checked it out, I did two videos regarding the OS Max 15LA here. I did sort of an introduction video where I did a little open box kind of review. And then I did a, an additional video where I did a break in of the engine itself. So if you're interested in that, check those out. One thing else I want to mention real quick is like the top, I need to open up the bottom portion here in order to access the, the hardware for mounting the engine. So I'm just going to open up kind of a window. I'm not going to have to open up as much as I am up on top, but I'll do that as well. First things first, going to try to draw a little bit of a pattern or guide. Now I know I'm going to have to remove more than this, but this will get me started. Well, that's a good start, but I still have a little ways to go. Thank you. 
Well, everybody, I have to say that I think this block up here that I put on was really pretty much a waste of time. Now, um, I'm going to have to take out probably most of it just to get this engine down in here and then make room for, you know, this, this control arm right here and this part of the carburetor. Um, muffler is going to go in here. So, yeah, I mean, I looked at it when I was putting it together thinking I could get this to sort of slide in a little bit better. But in reality, that's sort of what it shows. Well, that is what it shows on the plans. So here again, we have the plan showing this, what they call a 5 8 inch sheet, which is basically a half inch piece of balsa. And right up on top on here, which I interpreted as being a block and closed it in as I did. But yeah, it's just all going to, most of it's going to come back out. So in any case, you know, if you're doing this as an electric plane with an electric motor, I mean, Maybe you wouldn't have to do it this way, but for this engine and this particular engine, I'm going to have to remove pretty much most of this work that I did up here in the front up here on the top. Oh, well, that's just the way it goes. So this is all now set in here and then what I need to do is flip it and take out a window under here so that I can access the screws for the mounting. Well, I think I got it about where I need it to be. Kind of dinged up my side here and there, but here's my little window for the bottom, or the big window, I should say. And I think it's going to be okay, you know. It is what it is. This fits in here nicely. And then when I drill out the holes to mount it, I should be able to access through the bottom here. And if for some reason I need to make adjustments, I can just go ahead and sand it out and such. But so the next step will be to go ahead and drill it out and mount it. Now moving on to mounting the engine. I took the muffler off so I can get to the screws and the holes. And then I also put the prop on so I can kind of judge where it needs to be. I'm limited here obviously to the room I have and I made room for the needle valve over here. So it's going to be sticking out about that far. And that's a little over an eighth. That's probably between an eighth and a quarter inch or so sticking out, which is which is actually just fine for this. One thing I wanted to point out is that when I placed the engine in here, I had a little bit of play in it. It, can, it could kind of move a little bit like this. So what I did is I cut out some strips of masking tape, as you can see. I actually ended up with two. I doubled them up, and I just kind of thickened up the side, if you will, like that. And by doing that, it sits down on those engine mount down in there, and it's nice and 
firm so it doesn't it doesn't rotate left or right and you know that just helps keep things lined up so I'm gonna pop that in there to mount the engine I'm going to be using the socket cap screws these are three millimeter they may be a little bit on the long side I'll probably have to trim them down a little bit I'm going to be using just some flat washers of the same size the M3 I'm going to be using some lock washers and of course some nuts and I'll put some Loctite on those to hold it all together and then to drill those holes out I don't have an M3 or a three millimeter drill bit so I'm just going to use this 1 8 inch drill bit and I'm going to try I'm going to set them using the pin vise here and then I'll probably come back with my small electric drill and then drill them out all right so I'm going to hold the engine in place I'm carefully put my drill bit down in there and just try to mark it Carefully not to move the engine. Now I'm just going to work the holes in a little bit just to kind of get them going. And if I flip it over, you can see the screws coming through over here. And like I mentioned, they're going to be on the long side, so I'm going to have to trim them, trim them down. So I'm going to take about a quarter inch off of these.
Okay, well, as I mentioned, I just wanted to drill this out. I'm not gonna mount the engine at this time because we have plenty of work to do before we can do that. So I'm gonna pull this engine out. And then what we'll do is set the screws aside so we don't lose them. My little tray back there. And then what I wanna do is I wanna coat the inside of the engine compartment to protect it from the glow fuel. So in order to do that, I'm gonna use an epoxy. Um, typically I'll use like an epoxy resin, but I don't have any of that on hand. So I'm just gonna mix up some of this Bob Smith Industries 30 minute um, epoxy. This will be fine. And just put a thin coat of that on the inside. Just paint the inside of this to protect it. Well, the epoxy has cured and I have a nice protective coating now for the engine compartment. Let's check out the engine, pop it in here. And again, I'm not gonna mount it right now. I'm gonna wait till the toward the end of the build because it'll just be in the way and everything else. So, so in any case, it's gonna look like this here. And you know, yeah, it was a bummer that I did all that work to sort of put that block on and shape it. And then I took a lot of it off. I knew I was gonna have to take, take a, a lot of it out when I did that. I just didn't realize I was basically gonna have to take it completely back off. I wouldn't have done that if I thought about it a little, little more, uh, I guess if I thought about it a little bit more before I started it. So in any case, that's just the way it is, it's okay. And you know, I did wanna show you that the article that comes with it, if you go to outerzone.com and you, and, you and you download the plane plans, and you, there's also an article that you can download. And you can see here, oops, in this picture, you can see here that they don't have that block is installed on the one that they built. And a couple other pictures kind of show that as well. Well, it's the same plane, I would imagine, but may not be able to pick it up, but yeah, they, don't, they didn't put it on there. So I'm not really sure why it's on the plan, but it is, and there we are. So in the next video, I'm going to move on to the landing gear and going to be installing the landing gear right up here. And I'm gonna take the same approach. I'm going to get it mounted and then I'm gonna take it off because obviously, you know, I gotta cover the plane and everything, so I'm not gonna leave it on. So I'll do the same thing I did for the engine. I'll get it mounted and then we'll just take it back off. And then that's gonna be it for the fuselage in terms of like the major steps, I would say. And we're not gonna come back to the fuselage until after we build the wing. So yeah, I'm gonna do the landing gear and then I'm gonna be moving on to the wing. And then once the wing is finished, we'll come back and we'll mount it here on the fuselage. All right, folks, well, that's gonna be about it for this video. And like always, I appreciate you watching my channel and we'll see you next time.